Hopefully your knots are good. <laughs> well, that's the thing, so that's... This is why you do what you do for this right here. This is why you, you, you fish saltwater. This is why you use quality terminal tackle, line, reels, everything for this. Cause you're under gun, you're way, <laughs> this fish is way bigger than that rod. And you know, if we can get him, it's proof positive, man. And it's a stud of a fish too, man. We saw him. He's October 23rd, 10.50 a.m., 71 degree water, we're 10 miles off Sandburg. <laughs> I'll do the camera and the net. Yeah. Let's try to get a. I don't think the camera saw him. No. Nice fish, though. head came out. Uh, his head went back down. Yeah. It's working, man. We got all day. Hopefully your knots are good. <laughs> this is why you do what you do for this right here. This is why you, you, you fish salt water. This is why you use quality Terminal tackle, line, reels, everything for this. Cause you're under gun, you're way, <laughs> this fish is way bigger than that rod. And you know, if we can get him, it's proof positive, man. And it's a stud of a fish too, man. We saw him, he's. Get his head in. I should be all right. Yeah. Yeah. I like to go ape shit. All right. Is it coming up? All right. 
somewhere about 65 foot of water, I think. Something like that. 10 fathoms, between 10 and 12 fathoms. You have a very unhappy cobia. <laughs> He's like, wait a minute. You thought you were gonna. You want me to chase him? Okay. Yeah, he's straight up and down, but if he runs on you. Good thing you're not fishing with that little pen. Yeah, but you, you only had about a hundred foot of line on it. I know, I'm just getting hard back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. Is that little avid a recent addition? Yeah. Yup. Gonna be your new Kobe rod. Yeah. So you got 20 pound test spread. What kind of leader do you have on there? Is this the diamond jig? No. Oh. I wish it was. Yeah. So is this like a was a Berkeley Gulp bait? Yeah. A three ounce bucktail. And what? Like 40, 40 pound liter? No. Six. Black, nice. Black cool, that's good. That's gonna help you. You know, you got a little little chafage going on. Slowly getting blown in. Wind's dying out a little, which is nice. We've got a eight foot ground swell. <laughs> About a foot and a two foot chop on top of it. Crossed up. We're getting her done. Yeah, there you go. Get his head to come up a little. There we go. Uh, no. But I don't want to go up there. <laughs> he can't stay down. Not with three barrels on him, he can't. <laughs> Down that seal. No. Right I'm sure everybody in Cape Cod's glad that you great whites have made a comeback. Oh sure. Taking line from you? Damn, son. <laughs> There's got to be a point, right? Either he gets tired or you get tired. So we'll let's see. We hooked up. I, I don't know exactly when we hooked up, but I guess you've been in fight him at least 15 minutes. That was about quarter to 10, a quarter to 11. Coming up on 11 o'clock. So fighting them for a solid 15. This is 
going to be, this is going to be, uh, you're going to fight this fish longer than Mike fought that blue marlin two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, really. You want a little, you want a little belly? You all right? Okay. I have a little rod of hookie, maybe. Let me just slap you in the back of the head. got to be long off the wreck by now. It's not going to swim you down into the wreck or anything. It's pretty open water here. We're going to run into Pat Shrimp in here in a little while if you don't get this fish up. Keep him up here if we can. Him out of the yeah. Let's keep him up here. I think our chances are better. Yeah. Without getting him into those motors. Going back down on you. He doesn't got much left. I'm gonna come in behind you. Camera. <laughs> Like, well, wait a minute. Let's go. Maybe going back down is a better idea. Shit, dude. Yeah, yeah, it is. Huh?
10 fathom. Back up again. Yeah, let's see. Start to come up. There he is again. Yeah, he doesn't like the boat. I don't like the boat. Pretty fish. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 